Hey everyone, welcome back to Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. I have done that intro three times because I keep saying Castlevania. <laughs> Last time we finished off the Galilee Minerva, uh, now we're heading into town. Promise you'll be careful. I just hope that she's still safe. We are in Arventville. <laughs> Get a little farther in uh, Praxis. Although, admittedly, it feels weird holding a Xbox controller since my other copy is on PS4. I also have it on Switch, too. In case you couldn't tell, I love this game. Uh, I gotta change weapons, because I've been, admittedly, been using the stuff like the short sword more. Feels weird using the whip again. Thank you, Miriam. You know who I am. And that means... I'm sorry we couldn't get here sooner, Dominique. So this is our contact. Yes, the church sent me. As you can see, I know a thing or two about ex an exorcist. And we're lucky to have you, Dominique. And the church you, Miriam. Thank you for guiding her here, Johannes. You wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important. But you should tell us why you need her. Miriam isn't one to shy away from danger. But she deserves to be armed with all the facts. Yes, very well. I told you when I contacted you that the Shardbinder Jebel is responsible for summoning the castle. Yes, there's no mistake about that. He admitted as much. What? You spoke to him? Then let me get right to the point. I find it curious that the outpouring of demons, facilitated by one Shardbinder, just happens to coincide with the sudden awakening of the other Shardbinder, after exactly ten years. You're right, it is strange. But the Church doesn't get to drag Miriam into this just because the timing is odd. Oh, do you decide for her then? I asked you to bring her here so she could see the horrors that have befallen the village and make an informed choice. I have no intention of forcing you, Miriam. You don't have to. I gave Jeebel my word that I would stop him. What happened here only strengthens my resolve. Thank you, Miriam. I am sorry to put it on your shoulders. Um, pardon me? Oh, hello there. Are you all right? We didn't mean to ignore you. I'm all right, thank you. You are quite welcome. Do you have a name? Anne. What a lovely name. Anne, you shouldn't be out here. Let me take you somewhere safe. Oh, all right. Come on, this way. And they just leave us in the dust. All right. Fine by me. I did some looking around before, and this place seems secure. Yes, agreed. Johannes, you, Anne, and I will remain here. We can assist Miriam from safe ground. What? We can't ask her to brave the castle alone? Don't be foolish. She is trained in combat. Are you? We would only get in the way. But that's not the point. I'll be fine, Johannes. Please don't worry. All right, but we'll be here if you need us. Let's not waste any time. We have a lot to do. Come back if you need anything. I'll get a workshop running so I can perform alchemy for you. Thank you, Johannes. I know you're strong, but be careful. <laughs> I will. All right, so we have access to our little home area here. First off, I want to grab this chest. 
get a waystone. Waystones will teleport you back to home, essentially. And in the left, we have the shop area. Mary, welcome. Since this is your first time here, let me tell you a little bit about the supply post. Supply post, shop, whatever. Tomato, tomato. Oh, please. I have made arrangements so you can buy and sell items here. I would have liked to provide what you need for free, but seeing as we are largely cut off from the church's funds out here, I will need money in order to keep the supply post stocked. I hope you don't mind paying. No, I understand. I appreciate you doing what you can. I can also buy shards from you if you no longer need them. Wait, is trade in demon shards even allowed? Of course. The church would sooner gather them up and make certain they are purified. I am not permitted to sell them, but I can buy them off you. You may want to keep extras, since possessing multiple shards of the same type amplifies its power. But there is a limit to how far that can go. See, she says that, but... Well, well I'll, I'll, show, I'll explain a little more in a little bit. If you carry a large number of shards, your body's corruption may accelerate. But I'll find a way to deal with that myself. I still recommend selling your shards as a means of making money. All right. I know you're looking out for me. I think that explains everything. Now, would you like to have a look around? To be honest, I really don't use Dominique's shop as much as you would think. Uh, in some cases, I use to get potions, since admittedly I take a lot more damage than I would like to admit. Or I use it to buy waystones. Either or is pretty good. Speaking of waystones, I have to stock up on these. In my right? practice yeah, runs, I keep you. forgetting to stock up on them, and believe me when I tell you, you really should buy them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, she also has access to a bunch of weapons, armor, etc. But believe me when I say you will find these, and or, well, oh, another thing, but we'll to get give to that. This to you. It's the key to the building. You can use it to explore further in. Thank you. I invited the other survivors inside where it's safe. They all have troubles that need resolving, if you can spare them the time. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Come back any time. I'll be praying for you. So there are still demons outside? Oh, they're so scary. Oh no. Ah! <coughs> oh. <sighs> Dominique, what is all this machinery? That is photographic equipment we've been working on. Photographic? To put it more plainly, it allows me to capture images of real life, landscapes, people. What? Really? Uh, can I try it? Unfortunately, I don't have the silver bromide I need. I'll see if I can find it. Be right back. Yeah, I still have no idea where this, the silver bromide is. Even as far as I am in the practice file, I have no idea where I'm supposed to look for that. And here we got Johannes. Ah, uh, here she is. You have to marvel at the church's resources. Look at what they've provided for us. I know, it's incredible. So, what I can do for you here in the workshop is take materials you bring me and transmute them into new items. But the alchemy is easier to show you than explain. Here, I have some materials we can use. So let's try transmuting them. As he says, if when you're over here when you're with Johannes, you can time. craft materials, prepare food, enhance your shards, which is what I was mentioning earlier, which I was very confused because from what I noticed is you don't upgrade shards by collecting more shards, you upgrade shards by getting ingredients. So, like, I can upgrade the Head Flail, Flame Cannon, or, well, Head Flail, Cerulean Sprass, and Thrashing Tentacle. Um... No. But, like you said, you can craft potions, which is really nice, which I don't know if I want to do that. Cool. Yeah. I'll stick with what I have for right now. Why 
Once I've transmuted an item, I'll pass it on to Dominique so she can carry it at the supply post for you. I'll do my best to inform you of what items you can make from what materials. But when it comes to items I don't know about, you'll have to find a formula for me and bring... I understand. Also, the demon crystal you've obtained, the shards, those can be transmuted the same way as items. Each shard requires specific materials, but it's worth it to make your shards more useful. Try it when you get the chance. I think I will. Also, neither one of us has been eating well. No wonder, considering the struggle we've been through to survive. If you bring me the ingredients, I can use alchemy to prepare meals for us. With proper nutrition and a very diet, you have the potential to get much stronger. Being a new food for the first time will provide Miriam with a stat boost. Yep. Although I haven't, admittedly, have not made food as much as I should. Well, want to soon enough. The stat boost, the stat boost you get from them, because I've only done it once, are pretty nice. Hello. You there? It was awful. Those monsters came out of nowhere. We ran for dear life. Where are the others? Dead, most of them. My dear husband included. <sighs> Those devils have to pay. Those murderers. You look strong, miss. I'm begging you. Help me. If it's within my power. Oh, thank you. My name's Lindsay. What's yours? Miriam. Well, Miriam, I'll gather whatever information I can about the monsters that wronged us. I want you to hunt down the monsters and take vengeance on them. The efforts won't go unrewarded, I promise you that. All right. I'll do it. Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Tuh. Uh, avenge Lindsay's husband's death by killing the demons responsible. Help my husband rest in peace. Kill that murderer dead. Have you learned any? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. <laughs> Help Julius the Chandler rest in peace. Kill those murderers dead. <laughs> Have you learned oh, anything new? Didn't mean to do that. Here's what I've turned up. Might as well. Oh! I, I, to my knowledge, I don't think there's a limit to quests we can have. Anyway, let's continue. Oh, bats. I'm gonna put it right out right out there right now. I hate bats. Oh, I gotta get used I gotta get used to doing this now. I was playing so many hours on different consoles and getting used to an Xbox controller now is a little weird. Get up here quick. This here is a well, I actually don't know what they're called, but these mirrors essentially are your little teleporters. At the moment we only have access to Arvin Bill in our home. But believe me when I say we will find more soon enough. Oh, I might need to figure out a way to get my PS4 controller and, and install it on the PC. I can't. It feels so weird using it now. Fears. Oh! Actually, did I? I feel like I know about that. Yeah, because this leads you underneath the town. Oh! We have a rat tail. I must kill all these disgusting rats. Where'd it go? I got in a rat one. No! Summon a rat. Just call forth a giant rat and set it upon foes. Simple enough. Well, you'll actually see a lot of those where it's just simply summon an enemy or summon the enemy that you killed. Eh. 
And funnily enough, we're actually right in front of the castle because I didn't go what was typically the normal route. So I'll just head back quick. Sorry about that. Base guard. Just a nice little extra dagger if you prefer it. Surprise gift. Hurl your equipped weapon at the enemy. For the base guard, main gouch, Karn Wenin, and Mondor Mondau Pasir. I'm probably mispronouncing the majority of those. Alright, yeah, it wasn't that far. I don't think for the next part I'm gonna have to change to the PS4 controller. It just it just doesn't feel right. I'll see if I can even do that. I think it's pretty sure it's like 90% certain I can do that. Switch, lower drawbridge, but let's raise the drawbridge. Ah, I did it wrong. No. Head up here. Get HP max up and an MP max up. Yeah, hit it up here. I'm trying to be all clever. But, don't worry about that down part yet. But, here we are. We're in the entrance. One type of there's gonna be one type of spear that I'm really trying to find early on that I find incredibly useful. But it won't be for a little bit. Oh boy. Uh, I don't have the I don't have my usual shard to get rid of you. Uh, I also didn't have head will, so I'm wondering how much damage that will do, actually. So I know. That works. Got some chests up here. Something to know about blue chests, because I don't believe I brought it up. If you exit an area in between those, uh, I don't want to say loading loading areas, but essentially there are certain areas where you, you notice when we were trying to get into the entrance. If you go in between those, chests will eventually, re like, the blue chests will refill, essentially. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm wording it poorly, but that's what I'm trying to say. I think I will put that on. I guess I took off everything? Why? Also, guess. Put the elf ears on. Super adorable. Yeah, I don't wanna use those. Oh, I hate these things. So weird not having my <laughs> having the weapons I had in my practice file. Ooh, you I want. You're a one of the spirits I do want. I need the spirit of the ghost. It's actually really good. Here. There's a little 
pool of blood. Head in here. Get in a quick save room. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go over here. I'm not gonna end it yet. my jump. Actually, it might not be a bad idea to try to get the shard for Ghost over here. two more times. And I'll take a level up though. One more time. Oh, I didn't even see him drop an item. That's my bad. Alright. Didn't mean to drop down again. Ooh, Blood Grinder Knight. These guys are a little terrifying. Sedating Gyre. Assuming that I don't spin towards the enemy, transfer an of your blade. None of the stuff we have. Up here. 500 gold. Why are you here, Johannes? That fool of an apprentice should have stayed out of this. You have a lot to explain for. After all the terrible things you've done? All that is in the past. I'll not be defending my actions to you. But don't I deserve it? You were like a father to me. Well, enough, child. I am here for the book. Jeebel has the book. What are you talking about? If you don't already know, then let us keep it that way. Alfred, how are you still alive? Ugh, what were you thinking in coming here? You can answer my question first. All that matters is that I am alive. Did you come here for the book? Book? The Liber Logaya? Make no mistake. I won't let anyone touch that tome but me. Not even you should touch it. Didn't what happened ten years ago teach you anything? I don't have time to argue with you. I just hope you are wise enough not to get in my way. Uh, what? You know full well my power exceeds yours. Take Miriam and leave this place. Otherwise, you will die. I came here because something didn't feel right. But I didn't expect him. Johannes, what is the Liebe Logaya? It's... It's a book the Alchemy Guild once possessed that allows for the summoning of spirits. The Guild used it to bring about the Calamity ten years ago. And the Shardbinder's crystal acted as a kind of catalyst. A book like that shouldn't even exist. I know. Alfred must be trying to restore the Alchemy Guild to power. But we cannot let him lay hands on the Liber Logaya. He said Chibel had it. You know, I think I might have seen it. It makes sense, considering the situation we're in. He must have gotten his hands on it after surviving the sacrifice. So now I have to stop Alfred, too. No, let's focus on Jeebel. 
If we can get to him and the book before Alfred does, we'll kill two birds with one stone. Good point. All right. Dominique might know what to do about Alfred in the meantime. I'll head back to the village and see what she has to say. down there because we can't go there just yet. A locked room right below. <laughs> However, I'm going to stop it. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to stop it right here, guys. I think we got pretty far. Next time, we will head into... The Garden of Silence. Till next time.